Firefighter trainees from the Front Range Fire Consortium took over part of the Foothills Mall to simulate a large area emergency search. To make it a worst case scenario for us, they, they put blackout masks uh, over our SCBA masks and then they have put victims out in the middle of these large areas for us to find and then rescue out where we came back in. But rescuing victims while wearing blackout masks is no easy task. Yeah, it's totally different when you, when you lose the, the most important sense you're used to, which is your sense of sight. Um, you kind of lose track of everything, your, your uh, orientation goes. And, um, it's definitely something you have to get used to, having no sense of sight and just relying on your sense of feel to determine where you are. And that experience is invaluable for these trainees. It's nice to have uh, business people here in the community that, that allow us or have, uh, have allowed us to conduct searches in this large area. A lot of that is thanks to the mall's general manager who lets the firefighters train there whenever they need to. They do get to learn about the property and be familiar with it. So, you know, if you ever do find yourself in that situation with a fire or an emergency response, again, they're comfortable on property. They understand the layout. Um, they've had an opportunity to be in a larger format building, like you see with the former um, department store here. And so, again, it's just um, a different opportunity for increasing that education, and that's good for all of us. Foster just looks at it as a way to help others. It's a great opportunity to help people that are quite possibly experiencing the worst day of their life.